Hi, it's Kitty. So as you read from the description, my video today is a little bit different than usual. I ordered some things from Ulta and I figured I'd share with you and it's still kind of an unboxing, right? Um, well anyways, I know I mentioned before but I'm starting this project pan soon. So I'm not supposed to be buying anything but I'm letting myself buy things I actually need. Like foundation is one of them so this is definitely focused more on foundation what I bought and everything that I purchased too is is relatively cheap. I think the most expensive item was $16.99, but I'll go through all of that in a minute. Um, just a eye injury update. I think I'm really close to being able to wear eyeshadow again. I did wear a little bit of mascara today, so that's a big step up. I have seriously been missing mascara more than anything else. Like eyeshadow too, obviously, but mascara definitely, definitely. Um, and also, if you haven't yet, I have a giveaway going on, and I will leave the link below as always. And also, like always, I will show you a sneak peek at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. So let's get on into the Ulta box. I already took everything out, um, and some things I did try already and have on my face. So I will start with what I have tried. So, I, like I said, I got mostly foundation items. So the first thing I got um, was the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion in N2. And this is what I wore today, and I really like it. Is this focusing? Let's see. It's a little shiny. So this was, let's see, $16.99. I think this was the most expensive item. I have my computer in front of me so I can check. Yes, this was the most expensive item. But it, it does come with a mirror. I really like it. And the poof to apply. So there's a mirror right there, and then there's a top compartment for the poof. Uh, and then underneath that is the liquid foundation and I think this color matched my skin perfectly. Uh, it definitely was easy to apply with the poof. It took just like literally like a minute or two. And it is buildable which is a huge pro. It just is more of a light to medium coverage I would say. It didn't really cover my blemishes which are kind of bad. I must admit I did just pick it one earlier <laughs> about an hour for applying makeup and that always makes it worse. Don't pick your pimples. Um, I cannot follow that. I'm always picking at them. But otherwise, I really like this. I think this would be really good for travel too, just because it's um, not a liquid actually, so you don't have to worry about all the TSA requirements and stuff, or get it getting too messy. It has a mirror, which is perfect, and the device to apply it. So I overall, I really like this so far. Um, what else did I try? And then the other thing I tried today was um, by Makeup Revolution, the concealer in C1, and I liked this. I um, think this is better for under eye. It's a little too light for my blemishes. I did um, end up putting another concealer over that because I thought it kind of made it stood out more. But I like this. It's only $7. Double check. Yeah, $7. Um, it's a little bit less thick than the Shape Tape concealer, but I kind of like this because not every day you want to do heavy duty makeup. So I think this will be good just for like everyday type wear, like no makeup makeup days. I can show you. I didn't swatch the first one, but that one's kind of odd to do that. So. That's what it looks like right there. So you can tell it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, so it's good for under eye. And $7, what a steal. Like, I seriously like that. I, if I continue like it, I'm probably gonna get it in a shade darker so I can use it um, in my blemish, or on my blemish areas as well. So the other um, foundations I picked up that were affordable, so I'll talk about the L'Oreal one first. So this one I got half off. It was I think it's normally $11.99, but I got it for what, like $5 or $6? Yeah, I paid $6 for it, which is awesome. They were having a deal for like 50% off when you buy two, and obviously it applies towards the cheaper item. So this is the L'Oreal True Match um, Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup, and this is um, in... It says N1 to N2, so it's the same shade as the the cushion. So I haven't had the chance to try it. It looks a little bit darker than the other foundation I got, like, um, which I'll tell you about in a second. But I think this will be good, and I'm going to Jamaica soon. So if this matches like the cushion does, though, I think it'll be perfect. So it has a little um, push applicator, which is nice. And um, as you can see, it, yeah, it's more skin color. So. I haven't had a chance to try it on my face yet, so wow, just a little squirt, and that's like a lot, like, and it covers. And I think it says it's supposed to be medium coverage. Gosh, I have this all over me. Yeah, this is, I don't know, it just says soft ivory slash classic ivory for the color, too. So I guess N1 must be the soft ivory, because I got N2 and classic ivory, which is what I am in most shades for most um, companies. But it says you can use your finger or an applicator and blend outward until the desired coverage level is achieved. So this should be. Um, buildable too. So 
I'm thinking about doing a video on all my L'Oreal products eventually after I get a good idea of it. Let me know if you'd like that or just give this video a thumb up, thumbs up so I know. Um, and then the next foundation I got from Ulta, this is by NYX and this was $14.99 and this is the Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. So I have been dealing with blemishes lately so I definitely wanted to try something more full coverage so I'm really hoping this is. And this is in light. I believe, yeah, this is light. CSWSFO5. I don't know if that means anything, but then it says light after it. And it's a 24 hour matte finish foundation. And again, this has the pump, which is nice. Uh, ooh, do you hear that thunder? Fiona does. Look at her in the background looking outside. She's not afraid. Um, so, this is what it looks like right here. Sorry, it's kind of in a weird part of my hand because my other stuff. So I think this is a good color, and if it oxidizes, it'll be even better for after my vacation if I get any color. I'm like such an SPF person, so we'll see. So yeah, I can let you guys know about this too after I get a chance to use it. Um, this all came in the mail yesterday, and I so this is just me unboxing it like usual. So I um, with my Project Pan, I, that's another way I'm going to show you guys like more like reviews on items I get because really all I do is unboxing. So I'll just do a foundation video in the future for other pale people if you want to. Um, and then there's another foundation item I picked up before I get on to the other products, but this was from Publix today. Was, I really didn't need it, but I saw there was another L'Oreal item. I'm like, well, I kind of want to try all of their stuff. So I got the um, L'Oreal Paris 24 Hour Foundation Infallible Pro Glow in 201, so classic ivory like the others. And this is supposed to have a radiant finish, 24 hour wear, um, medium coverage, and air light texture. So, and this is in like a squeezy tube, and I believe this is $14.99 from Publix. I don't know what it is at Ulta, um, but let's see. Oh, there's a safety seal on it. That's good. See, it, it looks just like all the others. So, it, you know, hopefully these are all actually my shade. So, again, I can, I'll do a L'Oreal video eventually, unless you guys don't want to see it. So let me know, because I definitely want, want to experiment more with makeup, and I am willing to... And, wanting to share my journey with everyone. But I will move on to the next item I got, which is not foundation. It's a brow pencil by NYX, and I've heard so many people talk about it, and I was super excited to get it, and I ordered it in blonde. Um, and by the way, this is $9.99, but I got uh, another NYX product, and this is just like L'Oreal, like get, buy two, get one 50% off, and the cheaper one, so I get, this was $5 for me. Um, I'm not sure if that's still going on, but if it is, that's a pretty good deal, even though the brands are both fairly affordable. So I was hoping blonde would be the perfect color for me, but it is just a little too light, like it doesn't look natural. I ended up having to use another brow pencil with it, but I did really like how it applied. Um, so it comes with a spoolie, which is great, I love that, so I used that before I applied it. And then the blonde, it's just like, I'm a really light shade blonde, I barely have any eyebrows as is, but it is just so light. It like looks like mustard yellow. Can you see that there? I don't know. It, it looks like more like light brown on the screen, I think, but when I put on my eyebrows, you can like see it under my sparse hairs, so I ended up using a darker shade on the um, ends of my brows. But I really did like how it applied, so I think I might get it in the shade darker and taupe, because I think that color would work a lot better, and it, since it is affordable, I'm going to mess around with it some more and mixing it with my other brow pencil, but like mixing brow colors, I don't know. I'm, I'm still a newbie with brows, that's why I got a brow product. I, Foundation and brow products are like the two things I really am in need of or like still searching for like my go-to item So that's why I bought this. I probably won't buy anything for a while now Then I'm gonna start product in September, which is just around the corner. It's crazy um, But yeah, so that's the brow pencil Sorry about that. I'm hoping it cools down in here now because the storm though um, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm sorry if the thunder bothers you. I kind of like when it storms Oh, you can hear the rain pouring now Okay, and another thing I got was just because I'm out of them and I need more is the Biore um, Pore clean Cleansing Strips. And I love these. I try to use one every three days because I have so many blackheads and my pore, I have really large pores, so I find this really helps. And I'm like obsessed with looking at them after. It's gross, I know, but like I like examine them so closely. Like I love seeing all the gunk that comes out of my pores. So I definitely need to use one of these later today. I'm excited I got these. So there's 14 in this pack and this is $9.99. So I feel like these are kind of pricey for what 14 of them, but I mean I think they do a great job and there's nothing really out there comparable. Like I've used non-brand name ones, like I don't even know, and they just weren't as good. I tried the charcoal ones too, and those were pretty good, but I wouldn't say those worked any better, and I think those are more expensive, so I just stick with the original. 
And I think that's everything I actually bought, so it's kind of like a mini haul. And then I got some samples. Oh, I, I can recognize the packaging I want. Um, the, I love this scent, so I'm okay with this. I just got this in another box, another sample. The Daisy by Marc Jacobs. It smells so good, so I'm excited about that. It looks like there's a shampoo and conditioner in here as well. You have Redken Color Extend Magnetic Sulfate Free Shampoo and Conditioner. So I love that you get little bonus stuff. It's fun. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna hurry up and uh, tell you guys about the giveaway sneak peek. So um, I actually just added this to the giveaway pile today. I was grabbing for my own and I realized this has sealed. So I'm like, wait, like, so. This is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder, and I think this is like a deluxe sample size, but I've been using mine for months. So this is like 5 grams, 0.18 ounces, it's sealed, so I, I was so shocked. So I didn't even know I had two of them, and I love it, and it lasts forever. So this is the giveaway sneak peek today. So if you have not entered, definitely uh, check out the link below and do so. Why not? You know, it's $500 worth of beauty products. Maybe even more now, because I keep throwing stuff into it. Um, and it'll come in bags that I've received some subscription boxes in, like cute bags or makeup holding bags, whatever makeup holding makeup bags. So, anyways, thanks for watching my haul. And again, let me know if you want to see me trying stuff in the future. Like I really have so many beauty products, and I really want to get the most use out of them and share my experience with you guys. So, again, thank you, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.